The Apollo 11 astronauts received a big, exciting welcome home today from Americans in New York and in Chicago. ABC's Peter Jennings reports on the way it began this morning in Manhattan. Seen heroes in their time, but to no one have they ever given the welcome they did the astronauts. From the moment the three men and their families set foot on the tip of Manhattan, it was bedlam. At City Hall, the shouting and screaming gave way only temporarily to an official welcome from Mayor Lindsay. One of New York City's great moments. We have honored many voyages before, men who sailed around the world, men who flew alone across the ocean. But today we honor three men who forged the first link between Earth and the stars. Today we honor three men who have affirmed the best we have within it, and all that New York has given today, its tears, its praise, its medals, its glory, is dwarfed by what you have done. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and all the wonderful people of New York. This has got to be the proudest day of my life. Whether you realize it or not, uh, you were with us all the way to the moon on board our spacecraft, but it's even nicer to see you here in your native habitat. Thank you, New Yorkers. It's wonderful to be here. Never before in my life have I been so moved by the welcome from the bottom of your hearts that you extended to all of us today. It is rather for us to be congratulating you for your support, the support that made our mission possible. It's a privilege for me to accept the honor from the city of New York. But more importantly, it's important to accept the honor of the people themselves, exhibited today in the warm, vibrant reception that we could clearly see was from the hearts of the people of this magnificent city. The flight of Apollo 11, the moonwalk, and the successful return to Earth brought to us a renewed realization of what we as members of the human race can accomplish on this planet with our resources and our technology if we are prepared to combine our efforts and work together for the benefit of all mankind. This outpouring of affection from 8 million New Yorkers was only the beginning. There were 3,000 more miles to travel and millions more waiting to greet them. In Chicago, the citizens were poised and ready to go. That report now from Tom Jarrell. As the astronauts arrived quietly at Maxfield, Chicago, there was little head about what was ahead. Only the dignitaries and official welcoming party was at the small lakefront airport to greet the touring celebrities after their flight from New York. The tranquil scene didn't last long, however, as the people of the Windy City seemed determined to outdo residents of Gotham City to the east. The weather was equal, clear, sunny, and warm. As the motorcade turned onto Michigan Avenue to begin the drive down Chicago's Miracle Mile, it immediately became evident the welcome for the astronauts here would be as large, if not larger, than that in New York. New York has its Wall Street, Chicago's financial district along LaSalle Street was packed curb to curb, wall to wall with spectators who, like the astronauts, were bathed in confetti and ticker tape. In addition, to put a little extra frosting on the Chicago welcome, the city pumped streams of red, white, and blue colored water high into the air along the parade route and ignited a fireworks demonstration. Finally, at the giant Civic Plaza, 5,000 balloons and 500 pigeons were released to drift skyward as Mayor Charles Daly and Governor Richard Ogilvie proudly stepped forward to present gifts and then extend a personal word of greeting to the astronauts and their families. The astronauts are now heading for their final stop, Los Angeles, where their busy day will end with a state dinner given by President Nixon. I'll return with more news in a moment.